Today we're throwing it back a couple years with the Strixon ZX5 and ZX7 driver models in a head-to-head -head test today. I've got Michael with me to hit some shots and we'll do some adjustable weight testing as well in the ZX7. We'll show you guys all the TrackMan data and tell you why the ZX5 and ZX7 are terrific used options if you're looking for a driver in 2023. Golfers, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell us in the comments if you play a ZX5 or ZX7 driver. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger here at the Second Swing Tour Van, and we're testing some, well, older drivers, I guess, older, a couple sort years of. old, sure. uh, Shrixon ZX-5 and ZX-7, and uh, the reason for that is, well, is the new Mark II models are out, um, and we've tested those already on the channel a little bit, we also need to go back in time and just see how these keep up, and really, I mean, the hallmark of our business here at Second Swing is to provide great used options at a great price. ZX5 and ZX7 are going to be great ones in 2023. Yeah, I'm really curious about this test because, you know, we've talked so much through our, our Strixon ZX Mark II videos mm -hmm. about kind of the, the progression in Strixon yeah. and how they've sort of progressed to that point where now they're kind of in that same conversation with the Pings and the Titleist and yeah. the Callaways and the Taylor, you know. So I'm really curious, you know, we've looked at their very new stuff, which I was incredibly impressed with. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious to see the kind of the, the steps back in right. time at the ZX7 and ZX5. Right, because I think when you talk about those maybe more um, more popular brands, the bigger names, yeah. the Ping Titleist, um, et cetera. You, you think of not just their new stuff, but the depth of their yes. kind of the consistency or, or, year to year. Yeah, older stuff and how consistently, whether it's a year cycle or two year cycle, whatever it might be, it's always steady progress. And so ZX5 and ZX7 um, is kind of what the Mark II stuff was built on. Right. Um, so, kind of just to go over the two heads, right, the ZX5 is going to be the higher MOI one. There's going to be a weight just way in the back in the center more stability, the ZX7, more compact head, and then there is the two adjustable kind of sl weight slots that we'll maybe play with, um, eight gram and four gram weight, um, just a tiny bit of bias potentially created there, mm -hmm. obviously having the heavier one in the toe or the heel, so you might play around with those two things, sure. but um, Michael, I, th I guess I'm just curious to see how you swing today and what your feedback is on these, because I think this was a big step forward these two were from, yeah. I guess, the prior series of drivers that they had. Um, and I know people are really curious about how big is this step now from the ZX to the ZX Mark II. Right, that's always the question. How big is that leap from mm -hmm. release to release? And as someone who's incredibly impressed, as I mentioned with Strixon's newest, I'm really curious to see how this stacks mm -hmm. up. So ZX5 and then ZX7. We'll test ZX7 in both settings. You ready to hit some shots here? Let's do it. Okay. I know you're a high spin player. Yeah. Seeing the spin right around 3,000 for the most part on average. That one climbed a little bit, but. Ooh, that had some extra speed to it. Yeah. Okay. Extra speed. All right. All right, so Michael, you got both driver heads in your hand. Yes. You've hit the ZX5. Do you, when you put the ZX7 down, do you see cosmetically anything different? It's pretty hard to tell any large noticeable differences. I okay. feel like the you know the ZX7 has a slightly, uh, from top to bottom, a slightly taller face. Oh, okay. Um, that would be the only main one. Um, I mean, one thing I love about black drivers is they sit very sleek. It's, yep. it's not a very eye-popping right. uh, aesthetic. So I really like the fact that they're both just very understated, just yeah, solid yeah. looking black drivers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can see maybe, I think a little bit of kind of the red trim on the outside of the crown there, if you're yeah. really paying attention. Right? Yeah. Uh, but um, so yeah, with the ZX7 again, there's the eight gram weight and the four gram weight. Mm -hmm. Right now, the eight gram weight is in the toe, which technically is a little bit of a fade bias. So okay. we'll see how that goes for the first five and then we'll switch it up. Let's do it. Ooh, so much better. Unbelievable jump in distance. Ooh. It's a good first ball. That feels so much better. That's forgiveness. Ooh. That's hooking so hard. A little toe, maybe. Oh, oh wow. That's pretty good. Okay. A little push draw. Okay. All right, we'll take it. All right. Um, so quickly, the numbers. And we've got all five of each one on there. And so 
we actually saw the spin jump up a little bit with the ZX7 um, with the weight in the toe, but you did get some more speed and more distance out of it. I yep. think just a little bit more efficient strikes maybe, but otherwise numbers aren't, cut, you know, that different. You're obviously as a high spin player, you're going to generate some spin and generate some height. Right. Um, without it like truly being optimized for you. But I mean, I, I mean, after hitting both and we're going to now switch the weight here for five more shots, but yeah. after hitting both differences and maybe feel or anything or. Yeah. I was surprised that for drivers that obviously looked so similar the I thought the feel was, a, there was some, a definite shift in the CX seven was a bit softer, a bit more responsive, um, which as it, it's tailored a little more towards my preferences. I felt a bit more confident. I, mm -hmm. I swung it a touch faster. Sure. Um, I loved this feel. So yeah. that kind of soft okay. feel really spoke it to It definitely me. sounded a little different too. But yeah. what I'm curious now is the dispersion, um, if we you know show up show all of them. And so we saw really four of your five. You had kind of the one that you, you uh, must have, you know, you <laughs> tugged it a little bit and it went left. Bit. But other than that, all four are over here. Um, from the kind of the toe setting. And so again, this, these are small changes, but moving that weight to the heel now, mm -hmm. which should create more of a draw bias. We'll see if you got more activity on the left side here. There's the draw. That one's hit hard, but it might turn. No, no, I mean, kind of. Hit hard, though. Okay. All right. All right, Michael. Testing complete there. Uh, it's 15 driver shots, and we actually took sort of one shot out from each set, if you will. So it's really 12 shots of data on the screen. Mm -hmm. But after hitting all of them again, just kind of your overview, your your feedback from all the shots here. Um, any other takeaways that you have? Yeah, I mean, so as I mentioned, I think ZX5 to ZX7, the ZX5 has a, a bit more... Uh, I would say a bit duller, kind of across the face. You kind of feel that high MOI forgiveness, yeah. whereas the ZX7 is a bit more responsive, a bit softer mm -hmm. feel. When you break down the actual the weighting, the when you flip the weighting, I think you saw in the results, and we'll see in yeah. the results the the draw bias. No surprise, yeah. had a, had a bias of a draw, and yeah. the fade bias tended to to stay out a bit right. So yeah. I think you know the technology really bore itself out in the results. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So we can kind of get to the results here. So we talked. I mean, numbers wise, we added. We put that weight in the heel and not a ton change, although that spin kind of dropped more, maybe yeah. to a level we would have expected with the toe, heavy weight in the toe, mm -hmm. kind of just below the ZX5. Um, I think that's probably more indicative of where that spin rate's gonna be in general, ZX7 and ZX5, probably right. about 100 to 200 RPM lower than the ZX5. But distance wise, you actually hit the furthest with uh, the ZX7. Again, that's, you know, we're talking, a, just a few yards here, right. but on average, uh, slightly further with that one. Um, also a lower ball flight as well. So um, that's kind of all bearing out as to what we would expect with a driver like that. The, right. The shallowest landing angle, the lowest peak height. And as a high spin player, I imagine that's probably the one that you would gravitate more towards if you were picking one of those. Definitely, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. Then let's go to the, the, the map now because I wanted to see that and we'll, we'll pull that up. So. You kind of see we and so actually we should one of the shots that we took out with the ZX7 and the with the weight and the heel was even further left. Mm -hmm. But well, I'm just that's the kind of the draw bias piece of this whole Absolutely. thing, right? So you kind of see how that map gravitates more left. Uh, but the consistency of the ZX7 with that weight in the toe and then the ZX5 too, both of those um, pretty solid small ovals out there. Yeah, I was really impressed with the dispersion. Like I said, this driver. Uh, especially the ZX5, you feel like anywhere you hit it on the face is going to sort of stay within those, that kind of cone, that usual cone that a, a, a player sees their shots end up in. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a driver that you can really swing with a lot of confidence. I mean, when you look at a dispersion like that, um, with some varying hit locations, still a pretty consistent dispersion. Yeah. yeah, so you know what? Let's just, let's do that. Let's bring up those hit locations because, like you said, I think what you want in the driver nowadays, and I think that's what everybody's chasing, is there are limits already on the speed mm -hmm. and like how powerful the ball can come off the center of the face. But how does it perform when it's not hit perfectly, when the ball is hit off the toe or the heel or up or down or wherever it might be? And so between all these shots, we can kind of see 
the, the, da the data on the bottom here, and we'll kind of just click on all of them, we'll see the various locations where that ball was struck, and we'll see it kind of bounce around a little bit, which um, a little bit low on the face, but you see that mm -hmm. spin below 3,000, which is probably good for you, right? Absolutely. On this one here with the uh, ZX7, talking to the ZX5 now, we've got under 3,000 with that one. We've got under 3,000 with that one. And then these are all kind of under the center of the face. And there, there's one off that kind of that, that the best quadrant to hit from, right? right. If you're going to not be in the direct center. Uh, and you see that those numbers got a little bit better with that one. And then here's one that you'd lost how I mean, what, 15, 10 yards maybe? Right. And it was very low on the face, but your spin went up about 500, 600 RPM. Not losing anything there. Your ball is still in the fairway you're in no trouble. Right. I'm going to be hitting a 7-iron instead of an 8-iron, but it's in the fairway. Mm -hmm. And it's, again, it's, that's sort of the forgiveness that, that right. you want with a ZX-5. Right, exactly. And so I think that's what, you know, basically we're trying to show today. And there'll be a lot more videos coming out soon on various items that we feel are strong contenders to be, you know, great used um, value buys in 2023. But the ZX-5 and ZX-7 drivers um, are a big win. And we, sh we showed that today. The forgiveness and the consistency, also the distance that you're able to generate uh, was pretty impressive. Yeah, super impressed with these models. I think, you know, when you look at the new ZX Mark II, you look back, it, there's you see that connection, you see mm -hmm. that thread that ties yeah. them together. Um, really impressed with this uh, these clubs from Strixon. Well, if you want a ZX5 or ZX7 driver, uh, you know where to go, right? That is Second Swing, one of our stores, or online. Connect with one of our fitters. We'll dial you in which for you know whichever model might be the one for you and get that driver suited for your swing. So, uh, Michael, thanks for hitting the shots today and breaking everything down. Uh, really good one today.